guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. And also welcome to another background, another filming area. Technically I am still on the same wall. The travel is above my head. But last week I spent an entire day rearranging my room. So now my bookshelf is against this wall as well as my bed. And I have my window streaming in so I can see the sunlight now. Hallelujah, I am no longer a vampire. So, it's a little different. I also was able to open up some wall space for some bigger bookshelves, which I'm very, very excited about. So, my filming space might change again. I'm not sure I'm going to test this out. I might just keep it how I was doing it. I don't know. Somehow, some way, some things have been tweaked, and they will stay tweaked in my videos for the future. Does that make any sense? I hope so. Anyways, I hope you enjoy a little glimpse at my bookshelves. Bookshelf. It's the only one I have in my room at the moment. If you would be interested in seeing the rest of my bookshelves or like a bookshelf tour, let me know. I've been tossing that idea around back and forth in my head and I haven't quite settled on if I want to do it or not. So please, I'd love to know if you guys are interested in that. Anyways, on to the actual point of this video. Today I am going to be doing the My Name in Books book tag. I think that's what it's called. I was tagged by Jessie Dawn. I will link her video in the description box below. And she was tagged by, I want to say Lydia Howe, I believe. I believe she is the original composer of this really cool uh, booktube tag since she's doing it on booktube so I will link hers in the description box as well. So the point of this tag is to find books and spell out your name. You can do first only, first to middle, first middle and last, first and last, whatever you want to do but you have to spell out your name using the first letter of multiple books. Does that make sense? I'm really terrible at explaining things. I think you'll get the gist of it once I start showing the books that I'm talking about. I hope. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. So I decided to do my first name and my middle name today. And so it's a lot harder than it really looks. Um, especially when you have to double stack your books. Again, this is not all of my books. So, I mean, I had to look upstairs and stuff. But some of the books I had to look for, I had to, like, pull all my books off the shelf just so that I could look for a letter. It's kind of hard, and it's harder to find certain letters than you think. Uh, my first name is Alicia, and A's are kind of sort of easy and keep in mind I want to point this out fast I'm not including a or the as the title for these so the a's and the t's of a and the don't are not included in these I'm going off the actual name of the book so I have quite a few a's what hung me up was the y in my name I thought that I had a book that started with a Y like a contemporary that said you something but no there's U's in titles but not as the first letter so I could not find a book with a Y in it and I could not find a book with a K in the title like the first letter and you'll know where that comes from in a moment but forgive the rambling now let's actually get on to my name in books as I said like Point two seconds ago. <laughs> my first name is Alicia and it is spelled a little different than you think it is. So the first letter in my name is obviously an A and for that I chose the, remember I'm not using that, Apothecary's Daughter by Julie Clausen. And so there's my A. Look it even has a cute little decal above the A. It's got cute little adorableness. Uh, this book was really, really cute. It's been a couple years since I've read it, but I absolutely loved it. And I love anything by Julie Clausen. Let's, let's be real here. But that is A. 
Yay! And the next letter in my name is L. And I had quite a few uh, options for this letter, but I went ahead and grabbed a book that I don't talk about enough. It was a beautiful book, but I'm going to talk about it now. And that is the, again, not putting that in there, Lady in the Lionheart by Joan Bischoff. And this was also another really, really cute book. I actually just watched The Greatest Showman last night. I was able to rent it for like $1.50 from... And it was really cute and it just reminded me a lot of this book since this is based around the circus. And uh, I just feel like a reread might be coming on after watching the movie because now I'm like wanting to go to the circus. And now I just want to read books about the circus. And yeah. So this was really cute and this is Elle. As I said before, I could not find a book with a Y in the first word. Uh, so if you have any ideas, please let me know because I would love to read a book with the Y in the title that's like the first. Just, you get what I mean. But yes, couldn't find one. The next letter in my name is S. So I A L Y. S and I did a song unheard by Rosanna M. White. I just read this this month. You will see it in my wrap up next week. Uh, but it was so good. So, 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 so good. And I was able to get my hands on book one, or will be soon, hopefully. And then book three comes out at the end of this year, and I am so excited about it. This is the first book I read by Miss Rosanna, and I have one of her other series and I cannot wait to get to it. I loved it so much. So here's S. Then the next letter in my name is H and for that I chose The House on Foster Hill by Jamie Jo Wright. And again I had a couple options for H but I decided this one grabbed my attention first and I was really excited because hello it's an H and this was a very very intriguing read and I am excited for Jamie's next book and I cannot wait to read it. And then if you haven't guessed or if you know me or if well if you haven't guessed yet the last letter in my name is another A and for that I chose All of You by Sarah Monson and I have not read this yet. Cannot wait to get to it. Her books look so good. They have great Plots. They just look really interesting. I just haven't been able to pick it up yet, but it's beautiful And I believe these are the old covers. It's a series and this is one of the old covers But they've been revamped so you can find them on Amazon, but yes So spelled out you have a L we're missing Y S H A Alicia it is spelled a little different than most Alicia's that I know um, any Alicia's that I know and a lot of times people have a really hard time, like, realizing that my name is Alicia based on how it's spelled. But I answer to you pretty much anything that you will call me. But that is, in fact, what my name is and how it's spelled. <laughs> so next I'm going to do my middle name because I love it and it was fun to look for these letters as well. So here we go. My middle name is Nicole and again it is not spelled how you think it would be. It's spelled a little different. My parents, I guess, have this thing about spelling my name funky. I don't know. But again, I, I could not find a book with a K on it since there is a K in my middle name. So we're missing a Y and a K. Okay. So if you can find, if you know any books that have a Y in the first letter, like as the first letter and or a K, please. You no, know, I would love, love, love it. All right, on to the books. Obviously, it starts with an N. So for that, I chose A Noble Masquerade by Christy and Hunter. I am currently about 60% done with this. I love it so much. Christy is amazing and I love her and she's like a favorite now she's so good I love this book I've laughed so hard oh man it's great I posted something about it in my story a couple days ago and said 
I promise she looked into my life when she wrote this book and wrote this story and this series of Hawthorne House. I, oh man, I connected with Miranda so much, it's not even funny. Anyways, again, you'll see it next week in my wrap up, but just a little, little free tidbit for you there. I'm loving it. Next is I, and for that I chose The Innkeeper of Ivy Hill. Look at that, all the eyes in here. Hmm. So this is, again, by Julie Clausen. I love her stuff. This is book one in the Tales of Tales from Ivy Hill series. Book three comes out this December, and I am so excited for it. I, like, cannot wait. I am, wow, like, really trying to kind of forget about it. Not forget about the story, but forget about the fact that it's so eight months away actually it's less than that but still in my mind it's like all the way in December and that means that I have to wait until then to read it so I'm very excited about it great book great story great author I love it ah, ah. so next letter in my name is a K and since I could not find it I'm not showing it but there is a K in my name thought I'd throw that out there. Next letter is a C and for that I chose the Conspiracy of Silence by Ronnie Kindig. I think I said her name right. I have not read anything by her but my friend Becca that I talked about before um, picked this book up at the bookstore that we went to and was so excited about it. She said she loves this author and I didn't pick it up or anything. I'm just like oh that's so cool and just never picked it up. But then I went a couple weeks later before the most terrible news I've ever heard in my entire life came into my life. And it was $5, so I picked it up. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up. I'm going to read it. And then I believe book three comes out soon. I believe this is book one. And I believe book three comes out in July, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, Becca, please let me know in the comments because I got no clue. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to read it. And there, there's the C in my name, y'all. There's the C in my name. The next letter in my middle name is O. And for that, I chose Oath of Honor by Lynette Eason. This was a great book. And book two comes out next month. No, in June. June, I think. Very excited for it. It's about one of the, ne the next St. John sibling. <sighs> It's literally blue blood in paperback. It's great. Um, yeah. So there's the oh, 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 there's the O. And then next is L. And for that, I chose A Love to Last Forever by Miss Tracy Peterson. This is book two in the Gallatin County. County. I always said country. And then I realized that I was putting an R when it was not supposed to be an R. So forgive me, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before, and I'm pretty sure I've called it the Gallatin Country Series, and it's the Gallatin County Series. Like, my whole Christian fiction life, reading life, has been a lie. Because I can't read properly. Wow, words you never thought would come out of a bookworm's mouth. Can't read. Um... But yes, I love the series so much. It's probably one of my favorites in the whole entire world. I reread it all the time. And again, I had options upon options for L, because like the lady love life and pursuit of happiness. You know, it's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But you get it. There's L's coming out the wazoos, man. They're just all over the place. But I decided to showcase a wonderfully talented author that I absolutely adore. So, there's my L. The last letter in my middle name is E. For that, I chose Edenbrook by Juliana Donaldson. And this book was great. I loved it. I just talked about it a couple weeks ago. And, yes, I loved it. And technically, I could have used the no novelette. In my first name because it's heir to Edenbrook. <laughs> but I didn't, so you're welcome. But yes, and this is the E for Nicole. For this one we have N I Missina K C O L E. And that is how you spell my middle name, Nicole. I hope you
hope you guys enjoyed this fun tag. Thank you so much, Jesse, for tagging me. I loved sitting and getting to know my books a little better and trying to figure out how to construct my name out of their title, out of their names. Look at that. Thank you so much, Lydia, for creating this. It's really, really fun. It was really interesting to see. And I hope this gets around. I would love I'd love to get to know a lot more of our Christian fiction ladies and gentlemen, if you are on here, on booktube. Uh, I feel like we're a very small community, and it's great. Family, I've made so many friends, but I would love to see us get bigger, and I would love to get to know the little family that we already have on here. For this, I'm going to tag a couple people. It's hard to tag people because we're getting so small that I feel like everybody's tagging the same people and I don't know that many of you so I think that you need to introduce yourself so if I don't know you or if you are a booktuber Christian fiction booktuber whatever you're doing please hit me up in the comments tell me about your channel I'd love to check it out and get to know you guys so if I don't know you haven't done it I tag you to do it but on top of that I tag Becca from Will Bake for Books. I would love to see this tag on her blog. But I'm tagging you and I'm giving you a challenge. I want to see your face on this one. I would love to see a video. I'd love for you to start a channel because I think you would do amazing. There is my little shout out to you already. You're a great girl. But I tag you whether it's on your blog or on a channel. And then I will tag... I'm not sure who Jesse and who Lydia tagged. So if you've been double tagged, it just gives you more incentive to do it, right? I don't know. I'm going to tag Angela from Coffee and Chapters, and I'm going to tag Miss Melanie from Christian YA Books and More. I'd love to see this, and I'd love to see some of your guys' books, and I want to see you guys struggle to, point, to find books with your letters. It's a lot harder than you think it is. Again, I hope you guys really, really, really enjoyed it as much as I did. And you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction.blogspot.com where I post every Friday and I've talked about a few of these books on there before. You can also check out my Instagram account for the love of Christian fiction where I'm pretty active on there. Again, kind of figuring out a schedule. It's very fun. <laughs> All my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!